Okay, guys. I know you'll probably thought I died like a week ago because I stopped I stopped uploading memes after disgracing Kate 6 for like the fourth straight time, but I got my life together and I am pumping on this goddamn gamer juice. Link in the description for 10% off. So I decided to come back and make some content for y'all. Anyway, I've been seeing a lot of tier lists going around and none of them cover anything important at all. Like, who cares about exotics? DLCs? I don't, I don't, I don't care. I noticed you guys really enjoy nostalgic videos that take you back to the D1 days. Like, a lot. So I'm here to bring you the absolute comprehensive and most vitally important tier list you'll ever see. The Destiny Strikes tier list, which includes Destiny 1 Strikes. Because... I'm I'm gonna be real. I, I I barely even play the Destiny 2 strikes. I I couldn't name them. I uh, spent like I don't know half an hour making my own tier list for this before realizing that one already existed. So I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't miss you know 30 minutes of my life that I'm never gonna get back. Anyway, let's get into this. All right, so got all these strikes down here. Where should I? You know what? I'll just start with the first one. All right, this dude. Um. He has a strike, and it's in the Infinite Forest. Have I enjoyed the strike? Not really, because I usually end up just walking in circles. You know what? You're just gonna get you're gonna get a C tier because you're an okay strike, but you're in Destiny 2, so you're automatically not that great. Now, I'm gonna go. All right, so I think if you're an OG, you should remember the Omnigal meme. If you don't, I'll I'll remind you. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Sorry about that. Just because of that meme, you get an A rank because you were such a great meme and such an annoying character that you get that A rank. Uh, let's see, the Shield Brothers. That was a fun strike actually. It was kind of cool how there were two of them and if you killed one of them, the other one like gained the powers of the other. You know what? I'm gonna give, eh, 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 you get a B rank. Just because of those explosive barrels that kept killing me for no reason. Uh, I hated that. Oh, Zola the Worm God, <laughs> you get a D tier. Cause you got dicked. Fogoth. Fogoth. You guys remember that this was the first strike you play in Destiny 1? Cause I remember. You know what, Fogoth, just for the memories, you get a B tier. The Nexus. Anybody else remember literally sitting up in that cave and just, wait a second. Wait a second. The background is still white. Hold on, let me save your eyes. Yeah, there we go. All right, let me uh, let's let's keep going with this. The Nexus here. I remember the Nexus as just sitting up in the at, at the corner and shooting him with Icebreaker until he died. So that wasn't exactly a great mechanic. You get a D tier, or maybe a C tier because you were Destiny one. Yeah, I'm gonna keep you in the C tier. <sighs> and I mean. Uh, whether we wanted it or not, we had to put Valus to Arc in the A tier. I could have gone a lot further with that. Hold on, hold on, let me try that again. Whether we wanted it or not, we've. Alright, next, we got the Archon Priest. <laughs> this, <laughs> this battle was exactly the same as the Nexus. Shout out to uh, Flinch Damage. And then we got the. What, what, what strike was this again? I'm trying to remember. This was like, oh yeah, this is the Undying Mind. The strike that was literally the Nexus, except he had three shields. And is dirty. All right, yeah, you're getting, you're getting a D tier. You know, you're not even creative or original. YouTube would hate you. We got Tanix. He is a B tier and very good for his memes. All right, coming up, we got Saber. You know what, Saber two? I hate you. And you want to know why I hate you? Because you were actually a pretty cool boss. And they didn't really do anything with Shanks until you. But those goddamn electric thingies. Oh my god. You kept killing me over and over and over again. Arc burn was the worst. Or, or any other burn, honestly, because you had all the guns. So you would just put arc burn. <sighs> I just clutched my hands. You, you couldn't see it. But, but trust me, I'm angry. You get an F tier. You know, you know what? You know what? No, 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 no. How, how do I? Yeah, you know what? You get, you get F times two. You get, you get, you get a terrible tier because you suck, hate you, and your electricity. This dude, Echo Chamber. I um, I never actually played your strike, so uh, uh, uh you look, uh, uh, take a D tier. 
Now, we got the good ones. A la cool the Dark Blade. Alright, I think we all know this guy belongs in the A tier, because let's be real. He had one of the coolest battles, and his music was a fucking rave. So yeah, you guys to be up there. Also, I'm a little bit salty that we didn't get your helmet as hunters, but it's okay. You're still cool. Now, Sepix Prime. Stop. Sepix Prime. You were the absolute best strike in any game that has ever existed. Even though strikes are pretty much only in Destiny 2, as far as I know, you're still one of the best. And because of that, you get the very first S tier rank. Because and now that I think about it, I was I was stupid. You were the first. You were the first strike. Sorry, Fogoth. You get bumped out. No, I'm just kidding. Sepix perfected. You also go in the S tier because you were just as cool as Sepix, but your music was also a fucking rave. Yeah. This dude. What was what was the name of his strike? Uh. Oh, the blind eye. That's right. Yeah. So. Your strike was cool, actually, because it was probably the only strike where there was like a distraction boss, where the whole point of him was to stop you from shooting the boss, and that was actually kind of annoying. And those shanks that, sh that just showed up out of the ceiling, and with arc burn on, they just shredded you to death. Oh my god, you know what, just for that, you go to the D tier, because I... Alright, well you're actually a pretty cool boss, so you go in the C tier, you would be in the B tier, but those shanks, bro. Those shanks. Mal, 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 yeah, okay, you know what? You go in the D tier because you were actually a really boring boss to fight. You didn't you didn't deserve all the clout that orcs had. The only thing you were good for was the grasp of my lock. So, uh, suck it. You go in the D tier. Alright, so I took out all of the repeat strikes. They're still down here, but like... I can't edit this template, I don't think, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave them there and hope that I don't accidentally start putting that back in. Okay, so here we go. Now we're gonna go over the D2 strikes because I'm pretty sure we got all of the Oh no, alright, here we go. These dudes. I remember fighting them the first time it was kinda cool to get like their capes and stuff, but that was that was about it. They're they're basically just scions with shields otherwise, so you get a C tier. Cause you were kind of cool, but like you were a pretty boring strike otherwise. Uh, oh yeah, you were the guy that you know what? You get a B tier, and it's not that like you were a good strike, cause you weren't. But seeing you just like totally crush that Minotaur was that was that was pretty badass. You get a, you get a B tier just for that. You, I, I just don't like you. All right, this dude reminds me of Atheon, which is probably intentional because his name was Protheon. And since he was the first strike in D2, and he was kind of cool, kind of, sort of, ish, a little bit, you get a D tier. Nah, you get a C tier. Just because I don't hate you. Alright, now we got him. I don't, I don't actually, I don't remember your name. But I'd be willing to give you a C tier. Maybe, nah, a C tier. Because here's the thing, right? Your turrets are so annoying but you're really not actually that hard to fight so you get the C tier this the C tier is getting pretty good all right what do we got left no all right what do we actually got left you have a boring strike and you're kind of like you're really just a really really big scion so you get the D tier because you, you, your, your fight isn't even interesting and then we got Nocris and I don't know his name I don't know if he even actually has a name does he have? No, you get D tier. I'm realizing a little trend here with these uh, Destiny 2 strikes. Okay, we're gonna keep going. We got Nocris. Nocris, you know what? I remember you because I knew you were gonna have something to do with Oryx since you were in Destiny 1 in that one little, I don't know, in the Regicide strike. You could inspect Crota and you could inspect this guy. And he was cool, but we didn't know anything about him. I thought he was a chick at first, so I guess. I guess I was wrong. And for embarrassing me, you get a D. Oh wait, no homo. Uh, you get, you get, you get B. Yeah, there we go. Still don't know who you are. Except, mm, I think that. Oh, oh, I see. I'm coming back to you. All right, you get 
a C tier because you're actually a kind of a cool strike and there's an interesting premise to you and there's an interesting mechanic but Taiko I just her voice annoys me I don't know why I don't I don't like it you get a C tier because you're just not I I don't I don't get good vibes from you anyway this strike where you get to fight Varix sort of it's just a servitor I give you a B tier because you are fun and you're so easy to shred at the end but I miss Varix a lot and the prison of elders so just for the nostalgia you get to go there now what else do we have what else do we have okay so it's kind of impossible to tell from here but I'm pretty sure this is the okay yeah okay I, I just I googled it and I figured it out this is a corrupted strike and you get you actually you're gonna get an A tier because this is the probably the most creative strike in all of Destiny 2 Jumping back and forth between dimensions and fighting like two ogres between dimensions and that there's like three different times you come back to this strike and it's different every time. I really I really do appreciate that. And Bungie, you get an A for this one. Now I also looked up <laughs> who this one is because I couldn't tell from the thumbnail, but now I realize this is that bitch ass vandal that goes invis every time you shoot him. So you know what, you get an F tier because you were so bad. F tier. You were so bad, Bungie literally had to remove you from the game. Like, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. There is one more that I want to include here, but as far as I can tell, they didn't include it. And, uh, <laughs> you want to know why they didn't include it? Because Bungie tried to convince us that it was actually a raid. Now, I'm just going to use this because it's, because, no, nah, this one, because it's, it's like, it's kind of high V. Let's just say this one is Coda's End. Coda's End, you get an S tier because you are the only strike in the game that's easier with less people in it. I had so many good memories from that, and I don't know. I know, I know a lot of other people did, and so you get an S tier because you are a good strike. Even though Bungie wants to call you a raid, you're a good strike. So that concludes the tier list. I am apologizing again for not really producing a lot of content lately. I haven't been super motivated and I've been super tired, but I found some like miracle drug. I know a lot of you guys have heard of G Fuel already, but I was hit up by these guys from Advance.gg. I'm sure you've seen them before too, like Mtash for example, he's sponsored by them. But it's kind of like G Fuel, but it's designed to help you focus a lot better. And usually I don't like promoting things to people unless I would use them myself. And let me just say, I've been using it for the past three days and it has made me exponentially more productive than I would be otherwise. I gave some to my friend and he typed up an entire research paper, which was like four pages in one class period. So if that doesn't tell you something, I don't really know what will. There's a link in the description if you want to get some for yourself. It's 30 bucks, but if you use Solar Sips as a discount code, you'll get 10% off. And uh, even though that kind of does still sound like a lot, it's actually cheaper than G Fuel and probably better for you. And it also gives you 60 servings, so that's a lot. That's a lot of powder. Even though it's not a lot of powder, it's still gonna last you a long time. Anyway, thanks for watching this. Hope you enjoyed. I will see y'all later.